God goes with me. God goes with me wherever I go. Wherever I go. God goes with me. God goes with me wherever I go. Wherever I go. God goes with me. God goes with me wherever I go. Wherever I go. God goes with me. God goes with me wherever I go. Wherever I go. Lesson 41 in A Course in Miracles. God goes with me wherever I go. Today's idea will eventually overcome completely the sense of loneliness and abandonment all the separated ones experience. Depression is an inevitable consequence of separation. So are anxiety, worry, a deep sense of helplessness, misery, suffering, and intense fear of loss. The separated ones have invented many cures for what they believe to be the ills of the world. But the one thing they do not do is question the reality of the problem. Yet its effects cannot be cured because the problem is not real. The idea for today has the power to end all this foolishness forever. And foolishness it is, despite the serious and tragic forms it may take. Deep within you is everything that is perfect, ready to radiate through you and out into the world. It will cure all sorrow and pain and fear and loss because it will heal the mind that thought these things were real and suffered out of its allegiance to them. You can never be deprived of your perfect holiness because its source goes with you wherever you go. You can never suffer because the source of all joy goes with you wherever you go. You can never be alone because the source of all life goes with you wherever you go. Nothing can destroy your peace of mind because God goes with you wherever you go. We understand that you do not believe all this. How could you, when the truth is hidden deep within, under a heavy cloud of insane thoughts, dense and obscuring, yet representing all you see? Today we will make our first real attempt to get past this dark and heavy cloud and to go through it to the light beyond. There will be only one long practice period today. In the morning, as soon as you get up if possible, sit quietly for some three to five minutes with your eyes closed. At the beginning of the practice period, repeat today's idea very slowly, then make no effort to think of anything. Try instead to get a sense of turning inward, past all the idle thoughts of the world. Try to enter very deeply into your own mind, keeping it clear of any thoughts that might divert your attention. From time to time you may repeat the idea if you find it helpful. But most of all, try to sink down and inward, away from the world and all the foolish thoughts of the world. You are trying to reach past all these things. You are trying to leave appearances and approach reality. It is quite possible to reach God. In fact, it is very easy because it is the most natural thing in the world. You might even say it is the only natural thing in the world. The way will open if you believe that it is possible. This exercise can bring very startling results even the first time it is attempted, and sooner or later it is always successful. We will go into more detail about this kind of practice as we go along, but it will never fail completely 
and instant success is possible. Throughout the day, use today's idea often, repeating it very slowly, preferably with eyes closed. Think of what you are saying, what the words mean. Concentrate on the holiness that they imply about you, on the unfailing companionship that is yours, on the complete protection that surrounds you. You can indeed afford to laugh at fear thoughts, remembering that God goes with you wherever you go. God goes with me, God goes with me, wherever I go, wherever I go, God goes with me, God goes with me, wherever I go, wherever Now for the reflection on Lesson 41. God goes with me wherever I go. I'm wondering if you realize that this is the answer to all human frailty. In fact, the entire human condition. Jesus talks about this in saying that it will completely overcome any sense of loneliness or depression, any separation that you feel at all from anything. And he talks about all of the separated ones. He says this a couple of different times. And then later on, he says, we understand that you do not believe all of this. But he also understands that through these lessons, you're coming to believe it. That step by step, day by day, through these lessons, you're realizing that God indeed goes with you everywhere you go. Therefore, there is nothing to really worry about. There is nothing to impede your sense of sacredness in every moment. So this is a very important lesson. It seems very simple, but the realization that this is true, that this is a reality, that God truly is with you every moment, it makes you realize and it helps us to see that we have this constant link into the real world. And in fact, he even says that it's very easy to step into the experience of your own enlightenment, to experience God all the time. It is the most natural thing in the whole world. So let it be natural. Let it be simple. Easy and simple may not necessarily be the exact same things, but simple is important. If you can realize that God does indeed go with you wherever you go, every moment, then you can simply enter into the kingdom.